Fear not, for you will not be ashamed. Be not confounded, for you will not be disgraced. For you will forget the shame of your youth, and the reproach of your widowhood you will remember no more. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 4 What comes to mind when you think of shame? Do words like humiliation or embarrassment come up? Have you been let down or disappointed by people in your life? Or let me ask it this way, when was the last time someone let you down or disappointed you? When did you let someone down? The truth is that we are all very familiar with shame. But even though we have experienced shame, we need to always remember that God will not put us to shame. He will not put you to shame as you trust in Him. He will not let you down. He will not disappoint you or embarrass you. As you are believing in Him to come through for you, and as you are waiting on Him, know that He will break through on your behalf. He will not abandon you and make you a laughingstock. And even when God seems silent right now, and nothing is happening in your life, and people are talking behind your back, know that He will take away the shame you are experiencing. I think of Hannah who experienced shame for a season. She couldn't have children and because of that, she had to endure ridicule. And to add insult to injury, we find out it was the Lord who closed her womb. It was because of God she couldn't have children. But to Hannah, he gave a double portion because he loved her, though the Lord had closed her womb and her rival used to provoke her grievously, to irritate her because the Lord had closed her womb. 1 Samuel chapter 1 verses 5 to 6 Before she received what she was believing God for, she experienced ridicule and shame. It was a hard time for her as she waited on God year after year. So it went on year by year. As often as she went up to the house of the Lord, she used to provoke her. Therefore, Hannah wept and would not eat. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 7 In the waiting, she never gave up. She went to the temple year after year as she endured the ridicule. Even when it seemed like God was silent, she kept on praying to Him. Her barrenness caused her shame, but God would take it away. Before the fulfillment of God's promises in your life, there is a high chance that you will experience ridicule and shame from the enemy. He will try to convince you that God has left you, that God doesn't care. But you need not listen to him because those are lies. The truth is that God will come through for you. He will answer your prayers, even if it's taking time. And that is what happened with Hannah. She gave birth to Samuel, and the shame she had was taken away. And Elkanah knew Hannah his wife, and the Lord remembered her. And in due time Hannah conceived, and bore a son, and called his name Samuel, for she said, I have asked for him from the Lord. 1 Samuel chapter 1 verses 19 to 20 And that's how God takes away your shame. By answering your prayers, by fulfilling what He has promised you, by breaking through on your behalf, by silencing the enemy, and giving you victory. God is faithful, and He will take away your shame. And you need to know that with every fiber of your being, that God will not put you to shame ever. God will not fail to deliver you from your troubles, 
for his own name's sake. There are times when it looks as if God has not and will not show up, when his people will be left in shame and despair, but this will not be the conclusion of your case. You will not end in shame. Kings shall be your foster fathers and their queens your nursing mothers. With their faces to the ground, they shall bow down to you and lick the dust of your feet. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Those who wait for me shall not be put to shame. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 23. Ezra was a priest who was sent to Jerusalem to teach the returned exiles the law of the Lord. But the journey was filled with danger, and Ezra did not ask for soldiers to accompany him because his trust was in the Lord, and that's what he told the king. Then I proclaimed a fast there at the river Ahava that we might humble ourselves before our God to seek from him a safe journey for ourselves, our children, and all our goods. For I was ashamed to ask the king for a band of soldiers and horsemen to protect us against the enemy on our way, since we had told the king, the hand of our God is for good on all who seek him, and the power of his wrath is against all who forsake him. So we fasted and implored our God for this, and he listened to our entreaty. Ezra 8 verses 21 to 23. Ezra would have been put to shame if God didn't protect him and his family, but God heard his prayer. He would not let shame come upon Ezra as he declared his faith in God before the king. And what a testimony to the king of how great Ezra's God is. The journey was dangerous and the way was filled with robbers and thieves. But God listened and answered his prayer. Then we departed from the river Ahava on the twelfth day of the first month to go to Jerusalem. The hand of our God was on us and he delivered us from the hand of the enemy and from ambushes by the way. Ezra chapter 8 verse 31. Remember, he takes away our shame by answering our prayers, by fighting for us and breaking through on our behalf. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we come before you today, we are reminded of your promise that you will not put us to shame. In the face of ridicule, disappointment, and despair, you remain our steadfast hope and refuge. Your word assures us that those who trust in you will not be disappointed. You will take away our shame. As we wait on your promises to be fulfilled in our lives, we know you will come through for us. You will not abandon us. Even when it seems like nothing is happening now, we wait expectantly knowing that you will not put us to shame. You will not disappoint us. We acknowledge, O oh God, the times when shame has crept into our lives, when circumstances seemed overwhelming and it felt like hope was slipping away. Yet, even in those moments, your presence remained guiding us through the darkness and lifting us up when we felt downtrodden. We lift up those who are experiencing shame and embarrassment right now. May they find solace in your unfailing love and strength in your promises. Help them to cling to your word, knowing that you are faithful to fulfill what you have spoken. Just as you heard the cries of Hannah and answered her prayers, we trust that you hear our petitions today. You are the God who turns mourning into dancing 
and shame into honor. Empower us to persevere in prayer, even when the journey seems long and the road is fraught with obstacles. Like Ezra, may we declare our trust in you, knowing that you are our protector and deliverer. Strengthen our faith, O Lord, that we may boldly proclaim your goodness and faithfulness, even in the face of adversity. We thank you, Lord, for the assurance that you will never abandon us. Your love is our shield and your faithfulness surrounds us like a mighty fortress. As we continue to wait upon you, we take comfort in knowing that you will lift us up and exalt us in due time. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.